dentist. Uh, check us, Janani. To clean your teeth. I speak English, sorry, I don't understand. Police, police, come by, I'm not here. Why? Good morning, all my beautiful people. I hope you're doing well. Another day here in Bam. I will leave my beautiful hotel here and continue my way to Zahedan. This is the last long stretch in Iran. So I have around 300, 320 kilometers to, to enjoy today out in the desert landscape, I think it is. And then I'm in Zahedan. Then. then I have only like one hour or two tough on border to Pakistan. So I'm gonna drink my tea, eat some bread, pack, and then jump on my dear Sarek and enjoy the day. So let's continue the adventure. <laughs> so much right now <laughs> 30 degrees Shush. yep even though the road is pretty close to here they have really thick falls in this hotel so you don't hear the road at all oh so nice and uh, yeah I see they have some dates over there yeah look Yesterday, yesterday evening, I went to get some fuel for her. I fueled her up because I didn't know if they were open 24 7, the fuel station over there. And they didn't know in the hotel neither, so I said, okay, let's go and fuel her up. So I did it yesterday, so everything is done. And the gate's open. Bye bye. Yeah, so we have her fed. We should do the whole way because apparently it's no fuel stations, like petrol station, the whole way towards um, towards Zahedan. Yeah, but we will do. We will manage. No car, no buses, no trucks. Yeah, check out that sunset. Uh, and it got destroyed by the bus! <laughs> Let's put some music in my ear and we go! starting to heat up pretty well here so I can just imagine at nine o'clock I mean this was the hottest place on earth the desert so I'm, I'm close to it Oof. if you watched the earlier episode uh, when I was in Bam the citadel uh, I experienced the extreme heat here in Bam had around 40 degrees in 9, 10, 9 30 in the morning so there I had to spray my face and body completely with water cold water and I'm glad there were stations where you could do that as well otherwise I would be dead <laughs> yeah it's not to play with this sun it is a heat and this scares me a lot for going to Pakistan and doing the escort I mean, I'm not as scared of Pakistan itself. I'm not scared of the police. I'm scared of the heat and have to follow a schedule which is driving the whole day, 12 hours per day in that heat. That scares me a lot. I'm trying 
trying mentally to prepare myself for it and uh, practice my patience. I really, really, really hope we can have ice or something with us. Yep, or drive early mornings. Mm, I don't know how it works. I guess they just have to follow their schedule and that's it. I speak English, sorry, I don't understand. Police! Police, 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 they were pointing at the area like this and um, police, police, warning me for the police. I don't know why. I followed the speed limit, so there was no problem with that. I'm just curious why. Oh, dragonflies. <laughs> hey. Uh, so I don't know. Yeah, let's continue. Almost every second car or second truck is uh, flashing the light and honking. I can't tell if it's something dangerous coming on the way or if they're actually waving to me and saying hi <laughs> or that I have something loose on my bike I stop a lot of time to just check it but it's not nothing is loose yeah, maybe they're saying hi <laughs> like there <laughs> I think it's just that hello I just reached the southern of Iran and came with signs and welcome to Baluchistan, the south of Iran. Yes, that's so cool. Oh, look at this view. Baluchistan, south Iran. Hey, I haven't seen any camels yet. Where are they? <laughs> I want to see the Iranian camels. Ha! Huh. It says a sign there that we have camels. There should be camels here. They're probably far out in the desert hanging out there. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. I wish I could stay longer in Iran. It's a shame that I only can be here for this short amount of time, but oh, I will come back. I will come back for sure one day. But I have to go to the mountains now. That's what I want. I want to explore the Himalayas before it's becoming winter. Some smoky party here in this Volvo bus. Oh, I don't want to pass them because I don't see if they're coming in the cars. Probably not, but I'm not taking the risk. Whew. Fresh air. Oh, I need fresh air. Pretty interesting surroundings, though. Went into a mountain area. It's cool. I'm sitting here and just thinking about a little bit of my past life, what I did, and then I remember living in Chamonix in France. There I went for skiing and rock climbing, but then Corona turned out and I got stuck in Chamonix, or I chose to be stuck in Chamonix because I had a really nice house and stayed in there. But when the virus was almost sort of over, a little bit lightening the loss there in France, I went to an airport with a friend and I did this incredible flight with one person was flying the thing and I was in the back USC flight or something like that 
it was so cool. Anyway, the point is that I want to go paraglide, I want to fly again. Oh, that was so cool. It was amazing. When I was in New Zealand 2016 or 15, I did bungee jump early in the morning and then two hours after I went skydiving. Imagine how much adrenaline this person had. <laughs> That's so cool. So I thought maybe I can do it in India or Nepal. It'd be so cool. We have a little rest area here. I'm gonna stretch my legs. See if I can find water. It's so close, eh? Let's have a look. Salam. You open? Perfect. Okay, they are open. It's so close. some petrol here. <laughs> that is very 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 good. And I can pour it myself. I'm gonna top it up as much as I can. Let's see. Bye bye. in the heart of Sahedam I will see if I can go to a place where I will stay uh, if not I have to run around and look for other places but it's a hostel here people recommend me to come here a lot it's red but people still riding it's yeah I don't know people recommend me to come to this place so we'll see if they are have any room for me Google Maps is taking me to some interesting areas. <laughs> and I think it is here. And what do you want now then, Google? Because this is one way. Ha, huh, she wants me to go there, okay. And then the destination should be to the right. And I heard it's gonna be a blue door. We will see. She is warm, Sarek. Hey. And his little belly. They are so kind of cats. Four months old. You. Oi. area there <laughs> and we're in here toilet yeah pretty nice and we're gonna go and explore a little bit of the area right now so let's do it similar like this yes Thank you, Messi. <laughs> to clean your teeth? No, no, don't do this now. <laughs> no, that was, that was not the plan. I was just smelling it. Hello, <laughs> guys. Welcome. <laughs> Oh, 
this one for like the, the, a lot of people they don't like they cannot like listen or something like this they're they deaf they see the light and say okay the pray time when they're deaf yeah they can see it instead yes. jeez Baluchi, like with the fire, it's gonna make the fire dut patti. Dut patti. And, and the bread? It's the same like what they have like in here and also in Pakistan. What's the bread called? Hmm? Parake. 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 Are you the brave one? You. Sorry, I've got a friend. Hi. Hey, little baby. <laughs> I have so many kittens here. I'm in paradise. <laughs> one kitten here, one kitten there, one kitten there. They're everywhere. <laughs> and they're only like four months old, I think. Super, super cute. So we've been out in Sahed and exploring there a little bit, and it was great. So time to hit the bed. And thank you so much for joining my adventure from Sweden to Nepal. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and join my Patreon family as well. It's more behind the scenes and exclusive material there. Take care, and I see you soon.